Hello there, I just thought I'd do an update video. Um, last time I did this, it was actually raining. Um, right, okay, so first of all, the actual seat. Um, I've lived with this for oh, about six or seven months now. Um, yep, absolutely fantastic. Um, as you can see, it's got nice stitching. Nicely embroidered there, and you've got nice piping around the seat. Um, I have ridden this in France. Um, no issues with it whatsoever. And also for your pillion or your misses, um, basically this is nice and thick and uh, gel as well. They also do do a heated option on this seat. Okay. Um, the only other thing is that I've been a two two piece seat. Yes, you do seem to get a little bit wet in in between here, in between the two seats. Okay, but but yes, it's um very good, high quality seat. Um, okay, if we move on now, um, yes, also the screen I talked about previously, still the best purchase I've ever bought for this bike. Um, as you can see, the handlebars do not actually hit the screen at all. It's um, nicely shaped there. And that is also um, a very good quality product. Also, the other thing that I was um, having a dilemma over sorry about the neighbor's car um, I, I actually had a dilemma over this for a long time was the fact of having a alarm dislock or alarm on the bike um, I tried alarm dislocks before and um, in the wind they would set off no problem this Abbas here has actually been um, 100 percent brilliant no issues at all with it setting off in the wind i've had that on the bike the bike is one year old basically today so the only thing that i did notice was when you was trying to set the alarm um or, or actually disarm it in the morning there used to be like a, a black piece here which used to basically um when you tried to put the key in, it was very fiddly and you'd set the alarm off. I actually dropped um, this alarm off the seat. The black, the case in here actually come away and the black piece actually come out, which now, as you can see, you can see the keyhole and that will basically go straight in there, no problem. But yes, that is a fantastic piece, piece of kit. Um, the other thing I've noticed as well, uh, I, I actually did this last year, um, especially on the other side, if you notice these tubes, they've got holes in the, in the bottom of the tubes. The one on the uh, near side of the bike, there was a little bit of rusty water, but what I actually did, um, went to local boat factors like uh, we've got one here called Top Tunes in um, Shepparton and um, I bought some of these little grommets and the grommets actually go in those holes you can see it there block that hole and stop any water getting in in those holes so I've done that on all the sides of the bike okay um, the other thing is uh, with the acroplavic exhaust um, yes, people do have to uh, take the baffles out and try it. Um, I actually found it absolutely horrific. Um, I even cut down uh, the original baffle and tried that. And uh, especially going for a ride in France, I basically um, put a whole brand new baffle back in it. Um, the other shocker on this was um, these um, 
motorcycle um, shops, Yamra shops like Yamra West London. And I asked them about taking the baffle out. Um, they wanted to put a slide hammer onto here and basically bash it out and warn me that um, my baffle would then be ruined. Um, all you literally have to do is, is undo the two bolts, undo the springs here, take the exhaust off.